morning welcome to the shed so uh, another refurb job today um, basically we're going to do this little uh, I guess you call it a dovetail saw it has had a hard hard life all of this here is worn away the end is all bashed away this has been an in and out of somebody's uh, toolbox many many times probably a couple of lifetimes it's in a bit of a state but it is brass topped so I've polished it up a little bit and it is a Sorby of Sheffield. Very, very good tool maker. Yeah, Sheffield steel. Um, but you can see it has been, I don't know if it's supposed to have this bit here. It doesn't, it seems unlikely, but maybe it is. Maybe that's how it was designed, but it, I feel like it's probably just been sharpened so far. It's got too near to this heel and had to be uh, sort of, it gave up sharpening that bit. That's what I think. Let me know if I'm wrong. So we're going to do this one. I've got another couple as well. I've got this one and this one. Uh, this one's a Swift. Sorry, this one's a Swift. I'm not sure what that one is. Um, yeah, so I'm basically going to get them, get them going, get them sharpened. I've already sharpened this one because I wanted to see if it was actually worth doing. So I've sharpened that. I'll show you how I do that with my new jig, which worked really well. Uh, this one is missing the medallion or the button there, unfortunately, but it's still still solid, so it's worth doing. Okay, that's what we're going to do today. I'll only really show you one, so probably do it on time lapse because it's a lot, a lot, a lot of work on the wire wire wheel. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we've got the two brass screws, nuts, whatever they are, which I have already loosened in a right state. Okay, managed to get those out. They are bent, that's probably why they weren't easy to come to get out. To try and straighten those out, clean those up. See if we can get the handle off. There you go. That's the uh, blade. I know that's not the right term, can't remember the right term. And there is the handle. There's a little nail been knocked in there. I think that's probably to try and, maybe it was coming loose. Okay, let's get over to the wire brush. Okay, that's as far as I can go, I think, on the on the metal. There's still some staining there. I'm going to have to resharpen it anyway because I've probably knocked all of the, the sharpness off the edge of that. Brass comes up nice though, doesn't it? T. Sorby. Thomas Sorby, that's it. I thought it was Robert for some reason, but it's Thomas. Okay, let's do the handle. So I have sanded that as best I can using 120 grit then 400 grit 
there's still some quite deep staining in the wood but I'm not going to get rid of that unless I stain the handle itself but I think I'll keep it natural au naturel so good old Danish oil finish a couple of coats of this do the little brass buttons and we're good Oops. stained in places. Never mind. It is old. I reckon this is seen at least one world war, probably two. Handed down through the years and ended up with me. Why that's lighter there. Sanded it right back, must have been stained with something. Okay, that's the handle. Should last a bit longer. It's quite tired, but I think we'll be okay. So I've just got to do the little brass buttons and then we can put it back together. I shall keep giving this plenty of coats of this stuff. Okay, let's attempt to put it back together. There isn't a lot, I've cleaned up these buttons, uh, but there isn't a lot of thread on there, which worries me slightly. Okay, blade in. So it's getting it the wrong way around. Hang on, what's going on here? There we go. Well, they're lined up, but they don't want to go through. I don't know what the safest way of doing that is. Probably press them in using the... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Well, they're in. I need tapping slightly through. a bit troublesome. Okay, that's through now. All right, let's attempt to get these nuts back on.
that's nice and firm. Okay, so as I say, I've already done one sharpen on this. First thing to do is just give it, make sure it's flat. Probably should have gone that way actually. Okay. So you won't be able to see this, but I can see any teeth that I've missed because they won't be shiny. Okay, let's give it a test. Okay, so looking at this, there's at least one spot where I've got one big tooth, one little tooth. So I don't know if that's just me or whether it was already a bit like that. I think it must have been a bit like that. So. It's almost like one tooth where there should be two. I'm not sure how I fixed that. Okay, well let's give it a test and see what happens. Nothing wrong with that. I've got to oil the blade, that will help. Does the job nice fairly fairly narrow kerf on there bloody hell I can almost do a dovetail one day won't be far off will it okay so that turned out quite nice quite a sweet little thing Obviously I couldn't quite get all of the staining out the metal and the handle, well, you know, I didn't want to go too far in case it broke it. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Nice little saw. Not sure I'll get another 100 years use out of it, but maybe another 10 till the handle gives way finally. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Um, I will do the other two saws, but I won't bore you with those. Uh, yeah, you get the idea. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.